On June the 6th, Pope Francis had to go to the hospital for a few examinations, but then returned to the Vatican. On Wednesday, June the 7th, the general audience took place in St. Peter's Square as usual. The Holy Father greeted the faithful, gave his catechesis, and then was taken directly back to the hospital to undergo surgery for a hernia of the abdominal wall. The operation lasted about three hours. The Vatican said that the operation under general anesthesia had proceeded without complications. The official statement said the doctor had found persistent adhesions between some partially obstructed midgut loops and the parietal peritoneum, which had been repaired by abdominal wall plasty using a prosthetic mesh. As a result, the Pope's appointments have been suspended. The pontiff will be recovering until June the 18th and will not preside at Sunday's Angelus Prayer or perform Wednesday's general audience. Earlier this week, the Vatican announced that Pope Francis's post-operative course is normal and that the Holy Father was receiving physiotherapeutic treatment of the respiratory system. He has received the Eucharist every morning and can already return to his work. This isn't the first time this year that Francis has been admitted to the Gemelli Clinic in Rome. Already at the end of March, the pontiff had to be hospitalized for several days because of a respiratory infection. Francis's health, however, may also have an impact on the 38th World Youth Day, which is scheduled to take place from August the 2nd to the 6th in Lisbon, Portugal. Organizers said that World Youth Day is a meeting of the Pope with young people of the whole world. Without the Pope's presence, there would be no World Youth Day, organizers underscored. The major event was originally scheduled to take place in 2022, but was postponed until next August because of the coronavirus pandemic. More than half a million young people have already registered for World Youth Day in Lisbon.